Let's start with the 3D blade design of the rotor in the stator first. So we start by designing the rotor in our 3D inverse design software Turbo Design 1 where the axial core distribution of all these other settings automatically come from the mainline core TD3 and the span wise work distribution is free vortex and so it has zero swirl at the leading edge and a constant value from hub to shroud at the trailing edge and uh, also the loading distribution is mid loaded for this initial design and then these inputs result in the 3D geometry of the rotor as we can see here along with a smooth Mach number distribution throughout the blade surface and uh, it's also possible to ensure that the peak value is less than 1 for this subsonic compressor. Next comes the stator and again all these settings automatically come from the mainline code and the uh, Handwise work distribution again is free vortex and as we can see here the RVT star at the stator leading edge is kept close to the rotor trailing edge value which ensures a good matching between them automatically and there is slightly less than zero swirl at the trailing edge in order to compensate for viscous deviation. Also the loading distribution is again mid loaded for this initial design and then these inputs result in this 3D geometry of the stator as shown here along with a smooth static pressure distribution throughout the blade surface. And so once the components of the axial compressor stage were ready, a CFD analysis was run on the baseline stage to check the performance. And for this we used ANSYS Turbo Grid for the fully structured grids of the rotor and the stator domains and uh, CFX was used for the flow analysis. So let's now look at some CFD results and in fact the initial stage design was seen to choke at about 1% uh, below the design flow rate which is the grey points which we can see here. And so since TD1 already shows that rotor is the one with the smaller throat and thus defining the throat of the stage as a whole its throat was increased by 3% which is uh, very easy to do in TD1 by simply increasing the leading edge loading like this and then as the orange curve shows this higher throat actually resulted in sufficient choke margin and uh, also stage efficiency at the design point but the stage total pressure ratio was still falling short of the target value So then we looked at the RVT star at the rotor trailing edge in CFD and this was found to be 10% lower than the TD1 setting and so we raised it by 10% in TD1 which was again pretty straightforward to do just like that and with the help of TD1 parameters we were able to ensure that this doesn't change the throat and uh, that the diffusion ratio also to, uh, remains below 1.8 which is uh, which is good for avoiding flow separation and then when we ran the CFD curve again the red one this time this time the total stage total pressure ratio was actually very close to the design point target along with the rise in the stage efficiency as well and so in just a couple of design iterations we achieved a good design and then we selected this as the uh, as the baseline rotor for the automatic optimization